Witness five of the most amazing medical makeovers ever performed. You've lost it throughout the years. Now see how this revolutionary robot can actually restore your hair. All new on The Doctors. It's astonishing medical makeovers, and right now we're talking about a new method for reversing a condition that affects millions and millions of people worldwide, hair loss. Donor hair follicles are taken from the back of the head and transplanted to the thinning areas. The solution is to randomly extract individual follicular units, small groups of one to four hairs. The procedure is very labor intensive. I mean, you have to do thousands of these in a single session. Enter the Artis robot. It's a sophisticated hair mapping and extraction system. Once the donor area is identified, the robot maps all the follicles and then randomly extracts them with a series of punches. It's much more precise than human hand. It doesn't tire if you're doing thousands of of, of graphs. Even with short hair, the random extraction means it's virtually impossible to tell where the donor hairs came from. And here to help us explain this procedure is Dr. James Harris, a hair restoration surgeon in our procedure room with Dr. Orden. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Well, so talk to us about the artist's machine. So here we have the artist system. It's a, it's a robotic system. And um, what it allows us to do is use its advanced imaging and mapping systems to extract hair follicles. So what I'm going to do now, uh, this represents the head of a patient in the normal position. He's very comfortable in this headrest here. We've numbed up with local anesthetic around the back of the head. So this patient will not feel any pain or discomfort the entire procedure. Now I'm going to tell the robot to use its systems to go ahead and start mapping out the individual hair follicles within, within this area we call the grid. So it's automatically moving. I'm not touching anything right now. And it's assessing the angles and directions of all the hair follicles in the target region. Now it's already in position. I'm gonna tell it to go ahead and start harvesting so, hair. So this is an example of what the robot does in an actual surgery. Now we're not removing anything right now, but it's, it's based on our direction, it's targeting certain follicles and taking out a certain percentage of hair follicles to leave some behind. It's random, so we're not gonna get any weird patterns of, of extractions. And it's selecting these based on the quality of the hair. We can also tell it we want three hair grafts or two hair grafts. I would think this is gonna be much quicker than the old fashioned techniques, isn't it? When it's going through this process, it's actually doing about a thousand grafts an hour, which is wow. very, very fast. That's, that's moving. That is moving very quickly. It's an amazing technology. I think you know the main advantage for the patients are that it's, it's minimally invasive. Uh, it, it doesn't leave that long line scar at the back so they can wear their hair short if they want to. There's more rapid healing. They can get back to activities much, much more quickly. Well, Drew, I want to know, can you use this technique on women as well? We saw it on men, um, but is this approved for women as well? It does not have clearance for women yet, but we're working on it. So right now it's male pattern baldness. Male pattern baldness, that's And correct. we actually do have one of your patients, Jimmy, on the phone with us. Jimmy, you're pretty doggone happy with your results? Absolutely, I couldn't be happier. It's been 10 months since I had the procedure done, but I started noticing things uh, about four months afterwards. So, I mean, it, it's kind of a, a phase system where you actually uh, see the hairs come in right after the surgery, uh, then they fall out, and then they start growing back. But I did notice uh, significant or at least noticeable uh, new hairs on my head after about four or five months. Well, thank you so much, Jimmy. And Dr. Harris, before we go, how many hairs were transplanted in a case like Jimmy's? So he had approximately 4,000 hairs transplanted. Wow. And that's going to grow that's fuller and fuller over time. Yeah. Dr. Harris, thank you so very much for joining My us. My pleasure. Thank you. And up next, how to finally get that great night's rest. <laughs>